Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This evening is going to be a really good shave. Uh, I've had a fantastic day. More on that to come in later videos. Uh, the soap I'm using this evening is PAA's Big Shave Swest 2020. The meeting that never was. You know, you have that right there. I think it says that never was. Yeah, 2020, that never was. Um, I was going to go to this. I was excited for it, but then... Or if Rona hit and put the kibosh and everything. Uh, have a magic splash. As you can tell, I haven't used this much. More on that later. Uh, but I, I like the little touch of the and I can't what that is. But it's something that Douglas, it's in the scent notes, and he put a little sprig of that in every bottle of the splash. If you go to the listing, it'll put it in there, and I'll notate that what it is in there in the uh, description below. Uh, the bowl this evening is my Creek Road Pottery TSB Lather Bowl with the Simpsons T3 or the Simpsons Trafalgar T3. Fantastic brush and knot. And then again, because it's been a really dang good day, I've done quite a few Chevette shaves recently, and I just wanted a nice pamper myself type shave. Going with my Timeless T95. I love this razor. That is dangerously close to replacing the saber as my goat. It's that dang good. Uh, so we'll go off and start with a little misting. Now, as I mentioned with the, the Big Shaves West, um, I don't recall the scent notes, so I just looked them up. But as with most things PAA, the scent notes are I wouldn't say complex, but they are involved. And I can't remember them all. So they'll be listed right here. I know leather is a scent note, along with like agar wood and a couple other things as well. Um, off the puck, I definitely get that leather. My wife gets a leather, she's not a huge fan. And I'll be honest, when I first got this back in 2020, I wasn't a huge fan of the scent. But as time has gone on, the puck is, the scent has kind of blended a little bit more. The puck itself has dried out a little bit. Maybe a little bit, because as you can see, it's kind of separating there from the tub. A teeny bit, it's still super, super soft, CK6. So it's kind of aged. It's, the scents have, a little bit more and they are it's, it's a lot more pleasant to me i like this thing quite a bit now but i think with the leather and the musk that is in there my wife is not a huge fan so i don't eat it as often This thing is just effortless. There's a Persona Lab Blue Blade in here. No blade feel tonight. This a little bit there and against the grain, or with the grain. In that part of my neck, but you can tell it's definitely doing the job. There's definitely some stubble there. I'm rinsing off very cleanly, very well hydrated CK6. Ooh, man, so good. All right, so anyway, like I was saying, uh, unlike a few videos ago when I used Kapali, because I was having just, I had a really bad day. Today is the opposite. It's a really good day. Um, I'm not going into details right now. They'll be coming up in future videos or a future video. But it's a very good day. Um, very good mood. So I had a different, the soap been kind of picked out for the week. 
Uh, tonight is Tuesday, I think. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. This will, I'll edit this and everything in the morning, and this will air probably Thursday morning. So, this week is Mezzo Week for BBS Top Live. So, use something blue for mesothelioma awareness. By the time you're watching this, mesothelioma day is, I believe, Friday, so tomorrow. And the future color of that is blue. So Big Shades West Soap has blue on it. That wonderful bowl is blue. So I figured why not? He's a really good soap. Excellent base. Scent that has grown on me quite a bit, actually. Uh, still not one of my favorites. Um, I'm not sure this is one that I would replace when it runs out, unlike Kapali. When that gets, when I can start to see the ring on Kapali, I'll be ordering another set of that. But this one, I like it. I enjoy it. I'll use it. I'll enjoy it while I have it. May not replace it. Plenty of leather left. You don't need a lot with CK6, and I tend to overload or over scoop when I get it. If I hadn't just shaved my heavy last night. I would be shaving my head tonight with the leftover leather. So dang good. Excellent soap. Comfortable razor. I think this blade is probably on its last use though. Starting to tug a little bit. But, it's still cutting pretty decently here. And it's still pretty smooth. I don't think I'll bend this. I'll double check the usage. And probably bend this blade after the shave. And I think I talked about this in my Heritage Hill video. About the kind of lather I like to use, or at least recently. CK6 definitely delivers that kind of lather that I really like right now. As is Heritage Hill, as is Katie Bubbles. That can get there with a good bowl lather, good face lather. Residual things on this is just phenomenal. CK6 is in my top five. Just a really, really nice soap. Excellent base. A lot of good scents. Well, CK6, CK1, I mean, they're both really good bases. I'd say CK6 has a little bit better poche feel and has a little more of a water band as far as how much water it can take before it's like underhydrated or overhydrated. I think CK6 is a little better on that than uh, CK1. But CK1 is still no slouch. It's a really good base. Excellent shave. 
You're gonna get to kind of a variation of what John June does. I'm just gonna take the excess leather, kind of rub it in. <sighs> Drain the sink here. Mine, my sink isn't nearly as loud as, uh, as Glenn's. So, no sea monster here. We're doing really well, actually. Did the full three passes under 10 minutes. So, just do a quick cold water and so I'll let you put the good in my bald head for a little bit there. Also, let's feel around, make sure there's no spots that need to be touched up. The timeless is just so stinking smooth. Such a smooth razor. Even with the feather, it can. Like I said in one of my videos, I think that has tamed the feather first use. Uh, I did use a feather first use in my Focus Slim the other day. Focus Slim can also tame the feather if you have good technique. Although with this, the Focus uh, does have kind of bumpers or guards on the heel and the toe of the blade, so it's not as imperative, there's not a whole lot of good exposure in there, but it's enough that you can still cut yourself pretty well with the focus you're not paying attention. All right, we're gonna finish off with the uh, matching splash. And like I said, there'll be notes in there on what that little sprig is, which is from Arizona. I know Douglas went out and harvested it probably, I think it was on one of those hikes, he was out walking hucks. on the splash I don't get that leather scent as much it's very complementative as far as to the soap you don't get that same same leather forward on the splash as you do on the soap but anyway phenomenal stuff if you like leather scents leather musk kind of manly uh, it's described as a western Western leather with an Eastern attar kind of scent. It's really nice. Uh, very good leather scent on this one. I thoroughly enjoy it. It has definitely grown on me. Like I said earlier, great scent. Performance, it's PAA. You can't go off PAA. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for me for this, this evening's shave. Um, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll catch you all next time.